Is your pool pump running dry? Maybe you've just started your pool pump after the off season, or maybe your water level was too low or your skimmer was clogged. Whatever the reason, if you don't have water flowing through your pump, it's time to prime. Priming a pool pump means getting the water flowing through your pump before you let it run for an extended period of time. If you turn on your pump and it's not full of water, the whole thing can overheat and it can even melt your pump seals and damage your pool plumbing. But all of that can be avoided by priming. So here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to prime your pump. Let's dive in. Real quick before we continue, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your pool clean and clear all season long. Okay, so here's how to prime your pool pump. Always prime your pump when you're opening your pool, since your system has been full of air in the off season. And prime your pump anytime you suspect your pump filter system has been pulling in too much air or you notice your pump housing is dry. Step one, turn on your multi-port valve to recirculate. This will direct the water into the filter head and then right back into your pool, bypassing the filter. Step two, remove your pool plugs. This is important if you're opening up your pool. You'll need the water to be able to flow into the pump, so remove any plugs you may have in your skimmer or return jets before you turn any equipment on. Step three, fill the pump with water. Remove the pump's lid and check the inside. If it's dry, you'll need to add some water. This will help fill the pipes and create the suction in the pump. Even if it's not completely dry, adding more water can help. Turn the pump off, remove the lid, and then add water to the pump housing with a garden hose. Let the hose run for about two to three minutes. Just be sure to turn the pump off before this step. Removing the lid while the pump is running will prevent the suction you'll need to get the pump working properly. Step four, turn the pump on. Once you've filled the pump housing, replace the lid, turn the pump back on, and watch for the housing to hopefully fill with water. It may gurgle and sputter a little, and it may take a little bit of time, but eventually you should see the water filling the pump housing. Once it's full of water, the pump is primed. Now it may take a couple of tries to get it primed depending on how long your pump's been sitting dry, but there are some instances when the pump just won't prime no matter how many times you try. So if you're having issues, here are some troubleshooting tips for priming your pump. One, check your water level. Keep an eye on your pool's water level. If it drops below the skimmer, the pump will start pulling in air. Two, check for blockages in the skimmer. If your skimmer basket is full of debris or you have something stuck in your skimmer, it can actually block the flow of water and dry out the pump. Three, add water through the skimmer. You could have an air pocket blocking the water moving through the system. Place a garden hose in your pool's skimmer. Adding water from this direction may loosen things up. When trying this method, you'll need your pump on. Water will enter the skimmer and make its way to the pump only if the system is running. Four, check for air leaks. If, after several tries, your pump still won't prime, you could have an air leak in the pump housing. Turn the pump off, remove the pump cover, and inspect the O-ring for cracks and worn out spots. You may need to lubricate it with a silicone lubricant or buy a new O-ring. Make sure the O-ring is seated when you close the lid so it creates a tight seal. You'll also want to check the rest of your pump, fittings, and connections for any cracks, damage, or spots where air might be getting in. Five, check for clogs in your pump's impeller. If the pump's impeller is clogged with debris, your pump will lose suction. Turn off your pump, check your impeller, and clean it out if necessary. If you've never cleaned out your pump's impeller and you need some help, check out our pump troubleshooting guide. And that's it. If you need any more help with pool maintenance, grab our free pool care cheat sheet over at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.